So let's say you had enough of my videos and my channel and you happen to have this TV. All you can do is place it on the water. So a company called Cyvox kindly sent me a really interesting TV to review. So this is a 15.6 inch waterproof portable TV. So if you imagine a tablet PC combined with your smart TV, this is exactly what you're going to get. With a resolution of 1080p of 1920 by 1080 and an IP66 protection, battery life of 4 to 6 hours. And you can watch into different mode thanks to the Unix stand. It actually floats as well. This is a weight of 2.2 kilogram of net in a carton size of 450 by 100 by 345 and since this is a smart google tv you'll get a separate app to be able to watch disney plus prime video netflix and youtube as well so i'm really excited to try out how cool this tv is so enough said let's get on to the unboxing shall we so here it goes pull it out cool a bit heavier than i thought actually comes with a power plug as well so this one specifically designed to be the uk power socket so thank you very much this comes with a remote control this looks kind of unique actually this is the warranty certificate the actual instruction manual as well and the moment of truth so this is the actual tv so we've got the volume up and down channel up and down mute source and power perfect that's simple straightforward indeed we've got all these waterproof cap around here and we've got the speaker on the back i presume and um, i think this goes on as well and on the other side we got a different port as well it looks like you can actually insert some external drive here this is for ci plus so the dvb hyphen s2 and ci plus will not be available in australia ci plus will not be available in new zealand okay so on the other side we got the dvb t2 usb dvb s2 and a dc 12 volt to be able to charge your tv as well and on the actual top we got the main switch button as well and since this unix stand you'll be able to watch tv this way or the other way around i don't know whether you actually need it this way but why not and lastly you can actually have it like this you hold it up like a radio and it suddenly becomes a wall-mounted TV unit as well. So while we're charging the TV on the remote control, you'll see this transparent sort of seal on both end, and it's actually joined by screw. This doesn't come with a battery, so unfortunately, you'll need two AAA batteries. We've got the power, mute, numbers, source, Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Prime Video, also all this typical control home volume up and down channel up and down so for the moment of truth let's actually turn on the tv nice look at that it's actually much bluer and nicer in real life than what you can see from the camera and we got the google tv rainbow logo and we've got remote and accessories as well united kingdom set of google tv set up with google home app to be honest with you, I never tried the Google TV and this looks pretty cool. And you can actually see from the TV as well, it says it's connected. So for the sake of review, I'm going to put it into the office, signing into my Google account, which is pretty cool, verifying that it's me. All right, so this comes with Google Assistant as well. That means you can use your microphone on your remote control. So these are the separate apps that you can use, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney+. Plus. Apple TV, YouTube Music, Crunchyroll, Hey You, Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus, Spotify, and Watch Discover join in as well. And you could either go for antenna, cable, satellite, or skip. So here you have it, folks. This is the main page of the Google TV. So if we scroll down, we got Lord of the Rings and also the Ugly Truth. Uh, also, we can choose different apps such as Netflix, Prime Video. My5, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, Apple TV, Live TV, YouTube Music, Media Player as well, Top Selling Movies, Popular Movies and TV Shows, YouTube Recommendation, since I haven't signed in, uh, these are the general sort of uh, scrolling that I just want to show you guys, Child Friendly Shows, that's cool, Free Ad Supported Movies, Documentaries, Thrillers, we've got a Korean film as well, Raven, Robin Hood, American Psycho, uh, Korean film, dramas, that's cool. Steven Seagal, hey. <laughs> um, also Mel Gibson's film, 
there's a lot of Korean elements in here as well, isn't it? Proud to be Korean. So this is my YouTube page. As you can see, we've got search, home, music, movies and TV, gaming, library, subscription and more. So if you actually go to my feed here, if you actually leave it for a few seconds, it will actually play, which I don't want to do for copyright reason. But it's very easy to scroll other than the fact that I can't really go to my own um, page, which I have to actually uh, manually search on the search box to be able to find my channel. Here we have it folks, I just type in LJP and it already shows LJP text. So if I were to click on that, you can see my channel here and some of my recent videos that I actually recorded. So if I actually play the Ivy robot, Daddy, look at that. Turn off starlight. You know what, I have to tell you, you can't really see from the camera Let's actually reduce the volume just for the sake of it. But the actual screen quality is very crisp. It's really good. I don't know whether if I zoom right in, you'll be able to see it. And I'm really pleased with that. It's a proper Google Smart TV, isn't it? Now, there are a few different scenarios I can look into, but the immediate one is I can actually place it right below my portrait monitor from LG to constantly play TV on it so it doesn't consume the actual memory of my computer and I can actually get on with the rest of my work. So, so let's say you had enough of my videos and my channel and you happen to have this TV, all you can do is place it on the water and it's actually inside here. But what's quite interesting is initially asking you whether you want to power off the TV as you can see there, which you can press cancel by using the remote control. But let's say, oops, I dropped the remote control as well. Then <laughs> for some reason, uh, it's going back to the actual home page, which is very interesting. It's quite clever, isn't it? So let's see if it actually works after I actually put this in the water. So let's press the power on. It's on, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at that. I have to actually put it in the water and then if I want to go back and let's play it again and let's try to increase the volume to see whether you can actually hear it on the water as well. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so to add the damage, let's actually spray some water on it as well, shall we? So. There you go. It keeps saying if you want to power off your TV, which I'm not going to, but I'm having a lot of fun spraying water on both of these units. <laughs> That's brilliant. Let's actually turn it on while it's in the water. You know what? I just saw something there. <laughs> Look at that. It's still working. So here we have it, folks. We're back on the YouTube my own page and let's play the actual video again here it goes <laughs> it's working still working unbelievable by the way i need to actually there's some water inside here so i need to drain it out from the remote control i'm not sure whether my wife's going to be pleased with this waters keep coming out okay so let's actually take out the tv And I think we've got to put the volume bit down a bit. So I guess I have to take off all the water and put it on my desk. Right, so after the water torture and all the splish splash, let's actually turn it on. So here it goes. Look at that, immediately it works. And the remote control as well. There is no delay whatsoever. And we could go on to YouTube and watch my channel again. That's just brilliant. So I guess Silvox is presenting themselves in the industry as an alternative TV provider for your outdoor use or for your bathroom mirror, for your kitchen, or even for a portable unit, just like I've shown you on this video. And I'm actually blown away with the fact that any electrical device could actually survive in a harsh 
watery environment i.e. on your bathtub or you're on your swimming pool or on a very rainy day now one thing if i have to actually pick on that i haven't still figured out maybe it's available is that this tv cannot be used as an extension of a display maybe there's a wireless function that i still haven't figured out yet but so far there is no luck it'll be really nice to have but then again if it doesn't work it's still fine because i can use it as a separate identity of a display from my pc so that this could be play on the background while i actually work on this full brilliant display that i have with me so i hope this video showed you how cool this tv is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgb tech all the best bye bye